So as part of my Apple II Rev Zero clone build, we cheated because I happened to have a set of Apple II ROMs that I could use on the board. Uh, and we then cheated a second time buying a reproduction board on eBay that could use 2716s. And we got the system to boot off the 2716s. What we're gonna do here actually is what I would have had to have done, I think, back in the day. Uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to get original Apple II ROMs. I had access to 2716s and EEPROM programmers. Most likely, I could have, through my connections, got sourced a set of pirate Apple II ROMs, and that's probably what I would have ended up doing on 2716. So the question becomes, how would I get them installed in the system? Uh, I grew up in a little town near Hill Air Force Base, and in Ogden, Utah, and Salt Lake City, Utah, we had electronics distributors back in the, the day, and I could go to them and buy components uh, and buy things like vector proto boards. So this board would have been available back at, the, at, at that time to me, and that's why I, I went ahead and got this board, is, is it'll be very period accurate to what I might have been able to do back then. So it's, it's a vector prototyping board. It's meant for use with the Apple II. Uh, the Super Chem, uh, and there was a third, I want to say a PET, that this is quote compatible with for the edge connector here. It's configured for the Apple II, so it's got the plus five and ground on pin one and 26 over here. But with this card and these EEPROMs, I would be able to wire wrap potentially a ROM board. And so what we're going to look at doing is exactly that. I have a bunch of wire wrap sockets. That's look at some of these and see if we can pick out some sockets that would have been usable. Those are 24s. Uh, this really isn't the best little container for this. Those are more than 24s. These, those are salvaged. But what we'll do is we'll dig in the bigger box here and see if we can find the sockets we need. It'd be really nice to get a full matched or matching set for this. 24 pin. Let's look for ones that match. I've got a lot of different styles here. Those match. That's missing the top. These two match. I want to find six that are the same height. Same basic layout. <laughs> Most of these are reclaims. So they have been reclaimed out of other people's projects that have, you know, been at the point they were going to be trashed, and I got my hands on them. Did you reclaim? They were things that I just couldn't rebuild, uh, or even know what they were meant to do. These are the ones I'd like to find six of. They're my most common ones floating around here. There's another one of those. This red guy is weird. There's another one of those. So we're up to five of these. Is there a sixth one of those in here? That would be perfectly acceptable. Five of those. <laughs> There's six of those, so we're okay. Seven of that style, eight of that style. I want them to all have the same pin height. The shorter pins would be acceptable. That six right there would be acceptable for this. And I think those are the six we're going to end up using, and there's even extras in here. So, let's get as much of these back in here as we can. I have more sockets than I do organizer room here, which isn't a problem. It's actually kind of a nice thing to have as a problem. Uh, these should be organized better. There are two 16 pin. Oh, there's more 24s down here. There's more of the same. There is a whole bunch of them down here that I have no idea where I got them. So there are more sockets than I thought. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's four, I think four 14 pin and two 16 pin if I remember right. I don't necessarily need this height. That's a partial socket missing. Oh, that's different. 
And again, like, like I said, lots of reclaim here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are 16. So that would give me a pair of match 16s. I'm looking for more 14s that match up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are sixteens. Maybe these are all sixteens in here. I have to have some fourteens someplace. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are these all sixteens in here? Maybe they all are. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, that's eight, that's eight. I don't see anything in here that looks like 14s. There's got to be some 14s someplace. More 16s. Those are cut up remnants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to have a number of these. It looks like those look like 14s. Boy, I'd sure like to have, like I say, matched sets. That's three of the gold. Is that one gold as well? And just sitting at an angle. Yes, those four match as 14s. They're a little taller than I'd like. They're, the length of the pin determines how many wire wraps you can get onto it. Uh, the longer pins are potentially going to cause problems uh, between boards because the pins just stick out so far. But I think that gives us all the sockets we need. If I remember correctly, there's a few resistors and other things, but I think that gets us really close to what we need to build this thing and that closes kind of uh, now it's not closing because I got two more sockets than I thought I had and oh and there's a 20 pin for a 244 so shoot I looked at the schematic and I don't remember now uh, well, we're going to cheat and look at the board. There are three 14 pins. There's only three 14 pins. I'm really remembering wrong. There is one 16 pin. I was thinking there was two. So these aren't needed. And there's a 20 pin. 0.300. That's not 20. But this might be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a twenty pin. Wow, I remembered so wrong. I'm kind of amazed that I remembered that poorly. But I did. So the board goes in the system with the back of the system, this orientation. This does say component side. Uh Let's just put some of these in and see what we get. I'm hoping to be able to stack these with just one skipped pin in between them. I'm hoping to get four across for the EPROMs. Oops. I keep landing in the wrong spot. I'm really thinking the other two EPROMs. So as I remember right, the 20 pin is the 244 is a buffer specifically for the data bus. And I believe it will drop in. There's a couple places it could go. It could go down here. Can go down there. 
So we got lots of room here. So the data bus, like so, uh, if those scooched up a pin, I would be able to stack these. Like so, I believe. No, I'm happier with them centered, and I don't really need to make that much additional room. I can go in there like so. This has got a pin that was slightly wonky. Wonky is a very technical word. You need to be in the industry for decades to understand wonky. Uh, two 16-pin guys. There's actually room potentially down here for this buffer. This 244. doesn't necessarily have to straddle a power rail. I don't really know why it's being so difficult in this position, besides the fact that it can be, and so it will. See, that actually straddles two different sets of pads, so that is completely mountable there. And really, this gets us then, there's a couple of We have, we have enough room, is what I'm after here. We have a couple of 14-pin devices. We can create a little more spacing. Let's see, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. There's actually enough spacing here to space the EEPROMs apart. But the point being, there's enough room on this board to actually do this. So let's see if we can back him off two sets of pins and get a little bit wider gap that there's more room for package overlap off the ends of the sockets. Yeah, I like that even better. Plenty of room on this board. I was afraid this board wouldn't have enough room for this. I really was afraid the board wouldn't have enough room for this, so uh, very nice. Uh, this 16-pin is a 74LS138. It's used for address decoding. I've got these in opposite directions. Anyhow, there's what we wanted to see. So that I mentioned before, and I don't know how well this will come through the camera. These look like they're a, a, a dual wrap. I can get two full wire wraps on these shorter pins, and I could get three on these longer ones. But what this creates is when this card's down in the slot, these will interfere with the card in the next slot, potentially. Uh, so this may end up, because of the depth of the pins, using two slots. But the, you know this will be a complete wire wrap build. Uh, I'll solder pins in down here in the edge connector to wire wrap too. The pins will, of course, face through to this side. So you, they can be wire wrapped onto, I have what are called wrap ID tags that will be able to drop over the ICs to locate them and number the pins easily. So this is very much the, the same construction technique I used back then. So I'm kind of excited. This should be a pretty cool build. Uh, I'm excited to see this board is going to do what I need and actually have more room than I thought. Uh, and there's room out here to, of course, mount the switch. This board brings uh, plus five through, so the the, the, the the big copper ports here on the front are ground. It's got plus five available over here. And then on the back side, all of these long pores in here are intertwined with ground and with plus five. So there's spaces in here to easily mount uh, decoupling capacitors. It'll be easy to take pin 24 here and where's power well it's
it's not going to be as easy to wire things up as I thought, or I need to flip the IC orientation 180. If it was rotated 180, VCC could be bent over to there, and ground could be bent over to there. And you know, i got to think about this more. I may want to rotate these 180 degrees, but uh, you can take the wrap pins and fold them over to make contact onto these long traces and just solder them on for power. Uh, so anyhow, let's wrap this one up. I'm excited. This will be a fun project. It'll be much more appropriate for the build. Uh, and like I say, I believe I would have been able to have sourced pirated copies of the Apple II ROMs on EEPROM. Uh, having actual access to actual Apple II ROMs would have been very difficult. And of course, this is the advanced ROM set. It's not the initial integer basic set. Uh, so there's you know extra ROMs here. But anyhow, I like to ramble, obviously. Uh, I guess we'll wrap this one up here, and I'll see you in a future video where we do some wire wrap work together. Hope to catch you then.